Good morning, YouTubers. Wow, I'm just kind of blown away at uh, some of the information that I'm hearing and uh, coupled with what when Jesus said, uh, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be at the sign of the coming of the Son of Man. Can you picture yourself, you know, getting up in the morning and you get your cup of coffee and, uh, you know, you're reading the newspaper or watching the daily news and then all of a sudden outside the, you know, you, you hear this big thumping, whatever, and then you're like, wow, I got to go and investigate and... Uh, uh, you you go open up the door and you see creatures, giants, uh, hybrids uh, that are just terrifying to the eye to see. Now, I do say that because it's like, you know, the words of Jesus, uh, they're the red letter edition in your Bible. Uh, he says, as it was in the days of Noah, what people do not realize they don't. They don't realize um, exactly what that entails. Okay. Um, I want to promote a ministry here, and and that's the uh, ministry of Steve Quayle. Steve Quayle has a tremendous amount of the respect of the <coughs> the honest, shall we say, world community, uh, and that includes military leaders and generals who are seeing stuff going on and you know they're like inside reporters they're not spies man they're they're well they'd be the proper kind of spy if you will but anyway i just looked at a report that was uh, leaked to steve from the antarctic situation okay there's a heck of a lot of stuff going on down there and uh they're they're playing down the seriousness of some of it there's been an evacuation of uh, the uh, civilian contractors up there. Um, if, if some of you remember in your history, and it's kind of a very tainted history lesson, uh, only to come about in more full detail as we get the Freedom of Information Act has allowed us to investigate a little bit more. But um, if you remember from your history lessons that Adolf Hitler had expeditions that went down here and he was bringing back technology that was just unheard of. Uh, a lot of other information such as Admiral Byrd aircraft, his aircraft was, he was flying there and uh, his aircraft uh, controls were taken over and uh, there was a certain race or being of people there. Uh, guys, this might seem far-fetched, but you know what? It's it's really not if you'll just open up your mind to uh, the possibilities. Our own government is, <coughs> excuse me, is saying that, you know, yeah, UFOs actually do exist, yet they still hide the classification of the information in Roswell, uh, the Area 51 <coughs> is still you know, uh, very highly classified, no information regarding any kind of an alien life form. What am I getting at here? What I'm getting at here is, is this. The Bible also says that men's hearts will fail them from fear for what is about to come upon the earth. And as in a previous video, I elaborated, you know what? Yeah, people were getting shot and blown up in, in the wars, but you don't hear that the intensity of the hearts failing them from fear. That's another story, okay? That is another entirely different situation that is about to come upon people, okay? I would say to you people, man, if you do not understand uh, some of the stuff that I'm telling you or that I'm relating to you, then you need to uh, very, very quickly and very, very deeply uh, begin to study out, or I would just say there's some there's some YouTube videos made by some very good, well-known, articulate ministers of uh, Bible prophecy. Uh, again, in particular, that would be Steve Quayle, L.A. Marzulli, Tom Horn, uh, Chris Putnam, 
uh, these guys can elaborate on some of the stuff that they are finding and what we need to know as a uh, believer in Jesus Christ the next stage about what is about to transpire. Uh, just to piggyback on what's been going on, Obama had a secret uh, visit supposedly down to the Antarctic. Uh, there is a, also uh, John Kerry is down there now. Uh, the the Russians. There are some reports of some type of a very very strange creature has killed uh, a a person there. Uh, there's also some reports. The one that I read last night from uh, uh, one of Steve Quayle's contacts is that there are that are uh, there were several. Uh, strange creatures that were now loose in the cave system. They've got these um, underground uh, caves up there, and now there's entities that are loose. I was watching one of my, one of other uh, Steve Quayle's other videos, and uh, he was saying that in an interview that he had with a uh, a soldier uh, would have been like a special forces, and. Uh, he said, Steve, he says, have you ever seen the movie The Cave? I did watch it. And uh, he said, Steve, it's worse than that. Okay? It's worse than The Cave. This is a special forces person. This was another, uh, there was another scenario where uh, a special forces and military, uh, it was actually a uh, group of people who were over in Afghanistan fighting in the war over there. They were attacked by a giant. Uh, the soldiers were able to kill the giant, but not before some of their lives being taken. And then uh, the uh, CIA or whatever quickly confiscated cameras, uh, and they shuffled this thing off in a C-130 to get rid of it. Okay, you got to wonder what the heck is going on. Because if people can be in a dumbed down situation, especially by leaders of our of our countries of the world who are evil, okay, they are uh, the the secret societies, the Illuminati, uh, the Masons, and stuff like this. They are hiding a tremendous amount of information that can shed some light as to what exactly is going on. You better get prayed up. You better wise up. You better definitely get get your head out of the sand and quit thinking, you know, that this stuff cannot go beyond your understanding. Because guess what? It's not only beyond your understanding at this point. Uh, it is so far, wow, so far in Weirdsville uh, that you're gonna. It's gonna take. It's gonna take you almost like a detox. Uh, session to come out of it once your brain captures what's going on. I remember, I remember when I began to investigate this stuff. It it took me like, you know, I was mad for like two weeks just because the government was lying to me to this degree, to this deception, to this amount of hiding of very very important information. You know, I was mad. Just you know, and and it doesn't stop there. Your, your religious leaders, your quote-unquote, you know, non-denominational Christian, Lutheran, Baptist, whatever, there's stuff like this, guys, that they're not going to, they're not allowing to come from the pulpit because it's just too doggone scary. But you know what? Yeshua said that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, Okay. Believe you me, you're going to need to know the truth of the power of the name of Yeshua. And there's reports about that too. Some of these people that are uh, uh, the Dulce base, uh, the Dulce Wars. Incidentally, that's kind of what they're saying. This is similar to the Dulce Wars, what's happening up in Antarctica. But if you do a little bit of reading about the Dulce Wars and then also maybe follow... Uh, some information about a gentleman named Phil Schneider who uh, actually uh, had one-on-one -on -one contact uh, 
at the uh, Dulce base down in New Mexico. And uh, an entity about killed him, killed one of his uh, security uh, uh, police officer type uh, people. This is the type of thing that is going on. We need to understand some of them, they were briefed. They were briefed in contracts. Uh, some of the people who worked with these entities that, you know what, even swearing. You can swear, you can drop the F-bomb, but around these entities, you can't use the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, because they go nuts. They, they freak out, okay? I know, guys, this sounds really, really crazy, but you know what? <laughs> uh, I would rather sound crazy, but have investigated and found out, you know what, hey, this stuff's really going on, than be left in the dark, take stupid pills that keep me stupid, keep me dumbed down, the, the stupid pill, you want to know what it is? It's called ignorance. Ignorance. I know it sounds crazy. Come on, man. I I understand that it sounds crazy. But does that mean you turn a deaf ear to it? I'm sure some of you freaked out when you found out how bad uh, the political situation uh, was at this past presidential election. Believe you me, it's worse than that. And now they're finding that some of these people uh, are involved with sex trafficking rings, the Clintons. I mean, come on, come on, wake up, wake up. I might be the last person who cares enough to tell you the truth. You know, I don't care what you think of me. I really don't. I've been studying this stuff for years and years and years. It's like, what am I going to do? Say that they're all lying and then look at the archaeological writings on the wall by all these uh, uh, countries such as Australia, Africa, uh, uh, China, when they all have depictions of strange creatures, humanoid type, that walk on two uh, feet, but yet they look like what you would depict as an alien gray. They look like what you would depict as a reptilian. They look like uh, different entities. Guys, are we going to call all of them liars just because we live in the 20th century and say, oh my gosh, that freaks me out. You know, you need to stop it. You need to stop it because it's way worse than what you think. It's way worse and it's covert and it's got a lot of government people covert because there's pocket lining being done here. There's, there's bribes and finances that are covering this stuff up. Why? Because your government, a lot of your government leaders, they ain't who they say they are. They ain't who they say they are. Yeah, I use the word ain't. Anyway, please, please, please get off your duff. You know what? Forget about that Saturday that you're going to sit and go fishing and do all this and golfing and whatever. If you haven't investigated this stuff, you know what? You need to. You need to. I can't count how many weekends that I've sat. And as I wanted to go fish, and I wanted to do this stuff, but you know what, instead, because I'm a praying man, I said, Lord, whatever you need to do, if you need to take away my free time, whatever, to get me to do something, if you got something on my mind, you or on your mind, you want me to investigate, you know what? I've even suffered sickness so that he kept my butt in the house so that I would, you know, investigate. Anyway, I, I hope that this message has stirred you. I hope that this message has uh, given you a sense of urgency because you know what? This house is about to go down. This earthly place as we know, it's about to go down in a blaze. It's This is just, it's not good folks. When they say peace and peace and security, then sudden destruction comes upon them. God bless you. Get into your word and find out what's going on.